championship weekend, you have Oklahoma, which in the beginning of the year, like we didn't want, like you didn't want Oklahoma to come back, but like there was a point in time where I think they, there was a stretch of games where it was like, they're not out. Like they'll be back and they're probably going to win. What was it? The yeah. big 12, or big 12. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then they're back in it against Iowa State. So do you think that Oklahoma can take the Big 12? It is. Th- yeah, they'll probably win. But it's ridiculous. Iowa State, six in the college football playoff ranking. Like, they got destroyed by Louisiana Lafayette, and then they lost one game in the Big 12. It's like, this team, why are they ranked sixth? Florida at seven has no business being there Florida either. Florida has no business being at seven. Yeah. I don't know what happened. In the coaches' poll, I think they dropped to, like, 11. Like, they yeah. should be out of the top 10. They should not, yeah, they should not be at seven. And it almost leads me, I kind of, I guess, in terms of building excitement around the Alabama game, I guess it does maybe give you the hope, like, hey, maybe if they win, they'll still get in. I don't think a two-loss no. Florida team has any business getting in, but with just the the dick-sucking the SEC gets in that poll, I think they still have a chance to get in, as crazy as yeah. it is. I don't think they should. But, I mean, yeah, so I think, yeah, Oklahoma, they'll probably beat Iowa State. The Big 12... I think I've come to the conclusion that the big 12 is, has very little shot when they have good teams or when they have bad teams like this year and making any noise in the college football playoff. Yeah. They, they won't get in at all. They won't touch the college football playoff this year. It's not even in the conversation. Cincinnati though, should be like, I want to see Cincinnati, like as we could like keep getting closer and closer to the end, like the final rankings, like I want to see them at six and possibly like, be making noise and then by the end of it well, you should five. see them at six now you should they should but they're yeah. not i think what are they nine yeah they're behind georgia florida and iowa state which is ridiculous and really uh, georgia would probably beat them but like i want to see i don't you, think I georgia want, would beat them you know, maybe this georgia uh, with JT uh, did georgia like did georgia lose to ucf when ucf went undefeated or when UCF, ucf won UCF. undefeated i think they beat auburn they, auburn, beat, auburn. they beat auburn like that'd be not like a cincinnati georgia like a Cincinnati versus like another like SEC team. Or like That's what they should do five. in the bowl game. Yeah. But this Cincinnati yeah. team is way better than that um, central Florida team was in my opinion. And like, they're still not sniffing the playoffs. So it's like, it's why even play the season? If you're not going to give them any chance, like, like what more are do they, they have seniors? to do? Win by a hundred? Are they all seniors? I, do we know? But not tell you. Cause then next year they'd have a chance to get in if they're not, but uh, I not really yeah. though, under the system, like how much better could they be in this well, year? Like they have well, to win thinking, every game. I'm like, thinking they like dominate. if you go, if like, you go they, undefeated this around. year yeah. and then you like basically go undefeated again next year, like how yeah. could you not get in? Yeah. But then you have, then you have more beef in the big 10. No one likes Ohio and state. Also, the big 10 putting the conference championship at noon. Like, fuck you. It's enough with this noon shit with the big 10. It's like, you're rolling out of bed and there's a huge game on. Like we can just, uh, why don't we just get it but going? Do you think like, I don't know. I feel like noon's kind of nice though. Like people are going to watch it at noon. Like what do you got going on at noon on Saturday? No, you don't, but it just, it doesn't feel like a big game when it's on at noon. Big Ten. Like, no one likes Ohio state being in a, like in contention to win the big 10 championship game. And then you have other people beefing with Ohio state being like, Ohio state should not be touching college football playoff which is just really like, fine if you think that like if i'm a host i'm like i really think that play one v one me bro like come at me they're gonna destroy everyone that has any beef with them like this game on saturday yeah, isn't gonna be close really bad by one by by 12 15 we're gonna be like okay yeah ohio state deserves to be in like why is there any dispute they're five and oh they all they are always beating up on the big 10 isn't like it's no it's no like there's no there should be no especially this year when the big 10's very Weak Very as weak. yeah, but they're uh this they're getting 19 and a half, or excuse me, giving 19 and a half this weekend. Like, I would take that. I think they have to make a statement of like with the nature of the playoff and like Northwestern. They're playing, they're not playing that weird like 11 o'clock game in Evanston, they're playing in Lucas Oil Stadium. And I think that's just a game where like Ohio State kicks the shit out of teams every year in that game. So 19 and a half. And I think I would, I'd bet that all day. A 40 point blowout. Like, yeah. You know, Ohio State's so, they're so good. And then the final like big championship weekend, uh, Notre Dame Clemson, possibly a college football playoff preview. But I mean, if Notre Dame wins, they're obviously in. But if Clemson loses, is it like a Clemson needs to win to get in? Or do you think it's you win, you're automatically both in? I if think Clemson if they win, they're Clemson both in. Loses. If who, if who, if Clemson, uh, wins, if, they're both if in. Notre Dame, or yeah, if Clemson wins, they're both in. If Notre Dame wins, I think I don't you think can, you can. You're not giving a two loss Clemson. Can't, you can't give it to Clemson, then no. then who would we see? Would you see Texas A and M? So yeah. stay, 
So if we see Clemson lose, so they're out. What if Texas A&M loses? They're out. So then Florida should already be out, and they're going to get demolished by Alabama. Do we then see a Cincinnati sweep game? Like, who's next? Do you think Georgia? No way Georgia can get I it. I think they they might. That would be – they would do that. They would put a Georgia in over a Cincinnati just because of the SEC That's bias. Ridiculous. It's I, – I agree, gross. but I think they'd that do it. grotesque. Who oh, – what, like what is the ranking? So you have five Texas A&M. Texas A&M, Iowa Florida. State, Florida, Georgia, so Cincinnati. Seven. Iowa State. So if I was no, okay, then if Iowa State, if Iowa State, State wins, Oklahoma, then, then they'd get be in. in. They shouldn't be. Wow. So if Oklahoma wins, if Texas A&M loses, did Texas A&M even play this weekend? Texas A&M, they have a game. I I want to say they play Tennessee. It's not. A, they had. They just have a regular game. Okay, so assuming probably they win. win. Like, so basically, it's almost impossible for Cincinnati to get in. Even if it does turn out that way, they probably won't even get it. Like, if yeah, happens, they have no chance. That's why they need to they need to redo the whole system. Kirk Herb, or I saw a tweet today that said only six teams have won a college football playoff game. It's Alabama, Georgia, LSU, Oregon, Clemson, Ohio State, and those teams are also the top six recruiting teams this year. Like no other school has a chance because the committee just favors these six programs these six seven eight programs that just get in every year and then all the recruits see these teams get in go to those teams and it's just endless cycle nobody has a chance then you get a team like cincinnati who does everything they don't have a fucking chance what about with like the um with the division one wave like the transfer portal so like this year college basketball people like that transferred in and didn't get the eligibility are now able to play i think we saw that with miami just the other night like a guy just came off straight off the bench because He's eligible now. Yeah. If that transfers into college football and all these other sports. You get like the free agency aspect in college football now. So like I don't know what this would do for like the teams that can't get the recruits right off the bat. But like every single year you see Michigan somehow get these good recruits and, and then they never do anything about it. So like now if you go to Michigan, it's like okay, first year of Michigan didn't go well, let me transfer someone else. So now people might be able to transfer like a Cincy, like one of these other schools. So like yeah. you might be get a little more just dis- dispersion, or everyone's just gonna go to Bama and Clemson. Yeah, like I that. think I mean I'm a fan of the eight team playoff, like five conference yeah, champions and then three at large. Sixteen is it looks very nice on paper, it like it's so nice. It's arousing. I don't think it would work, but I think eight's the perfect number. 